Um, I just lost my best friend on January 14th, and I miss her a lot. Um, her husband asked me to do the eulogy at her funeral, and I just wanted to share it with you and to share her with you. No matter how bad my jokes were, Itzel was always laughing at them. She was always smiling and planning the next adventure. Itzel was the only person who ever made me feel like I could actually do anything. I don't know why, but she really, truly believed in me. Itzel wasn't the kind of person to say, you have to live your life to the fullest. She would just do it by planning big Airbnb trips with 10 to 20 friends for her and John's birthday every year, by looking up apartments and deciding she wanted to move in two weeks, by eating at the best places in Oakland, by dressing up and dancing every Halloween and really every opportunity she had, by playing the song Joanna way too many times in one night and getting as excited each time by working hard and making her parents proud. It's hard to talk about Itzel without talking about me too because there aren't many memories I have without her. We have been best friends since we were 14. I remember one time Itzel told me that in life, you have a soulmate, a love soulmate, like John is to Itzel, and then you have a friend soulmate. And she said I was that. She was right. I have never and will never have a friend like her that understands why I do the things I do. That understands the need to always be doing something and starting by looking up ideas on Pinterest. When we were just 18 and graduating high school, we decided we wanted, wanted to leave town for college. But before we could do that, our parents lovingly organized a meeting. They sat us down and basically said, you have to stay here and go to Yuba College first. We did not skip a beat and let them know that we could do it, that we were hardworking, strong, determined young ladies, and that we were moving to the Bay Area. To be honest, I would not have been brave enough to leave home without her. During college, we grew into ourselves. We took all the love and morals our family gave us and became women. We cooked so much Mexican food, talked for hours before bed about our day, and eventually, during these amazing college years, we both met our husbands. I will always carry Itzel in me. I am who I am today because of the love and encouragement she gave me always. Itzel wants you to celebrate her life and live joyfully. Every time you see a sunflower, Every time you eat aguachiles, every time you hear a song that makes you dance, every time you're brave enough to try something new, know that Itzel is there, excitedly smiling and believing in you. <laughs>